Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back. Jamie here today with Dylan and we're going to be talking about Nightmare on Elm Street 3 Dream Warriors which was released in 1987, two years after part two and Wes Craven helped develop the story but it wasn't entirely his scripts but still, I'd probably say this is the best at franchise, what about you? Yeah, definitely. It has a big mix of horror, suspense and then, you know, you get, you get enough Freddy humour in there. It, it is really, I think it's really good. It ties back mm. to Nancy and then her story off really well. Strong characters, characters as well. Yeah. yeah. The original idea that he had it was like New Nightmare a little bit. It was like Freddy invading the real world and going after the actors, but eventually he did that with New Nightmare. But there was a lot more suicide stuff in it as well, and it was a lot more darker his version of the story. It starts with um, the main well, I'd just call the main character of the film, and it Kristen. She's making yes. the uh, the stick house. Oh, played by Patricia Arquette, David played Arquette's by... sister. No. Her brother. Cannot die. Yeah. You're making the, the thick house, isn't she? Nancy's house from the original. I thought it was Freddy's. No, but that's the thing. Freddy's basically taken over that house. That's his thing now, isn't it? Because yeah. they, they, they don't even mention part two. Part two doesn't exist inside this, really. But you, you could make the argument that it did because they moved out of the house yeah. and then Freddy's up. It didn't look like Nancy's house, but then again, it was run down. Yeah, you can tell because of the red door, that's what gives it away. Yeah. Really. But yeah, she falls asleep, of course, and we get a jump rope kids, don't we, outside singing the good song like we always do. Yeah. <laughs> then we get then we get a uh, little Jigsaw Junior's daughter. Oh yeah, on the tricycle or whatever. <laughs> She's following the kid around the house. She bumps into Freddy, doesn't she? And then she walks into that room. I thought it was a cool effect of all the kids hanging because that just proves like he's been busy these for like, two years, I guess, since the yeah, last I one. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Racking up those but, girls. But, but I always just assumed that those were the kids that killed that party. And the second one. But you could, yeah, but like I said, they, they didn't want to acknowledge part two. And later yeah, on, no, Nancy no, says, like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, you, you could it. make the argument that some of them was them because, you yeah. know, they did kill a few. Like, how yeah. big was this fucking street? <laughs> true, At true. some point, like, you know, they, they changed the name of the road. Yeah, but I guess it's people moving in as well. Maybe it's just like, you know, like distant relatives, I guess. Maybe, I don't know. I mean, maybe you're right. It could be just like people, whoever moves in the street. Like his kids. Like yeah, but eventually, if a lot of people die on the street, you're not going to want to live there, right? Yeah, so this is just going to bulldoze her. She wakes up, doesn't she? And she goes to the um, bathroom, and then Freddy turns into the tap, doesn't he? Like his yeah. claw. And he makes her basically slit her wrists as her mum walks in. And mum takes her to the psychiatric hospital where most of the film takes place. And we got all the characters introduced as well, anyway. But they even talk about, like, there's a lot of kids committing suicide, aren't there? Don't want to mention, like, oh no, it's the doctor later on. He says one of them cut their eyelids off so he could stay awake. Stay awake, yeah. Uh, that's some dark shit. Uh, and then we're introduced to Dr. Neil Artwell, who's... He's an alright character, I guess. Some people don't like him. They say he's a dickhead, but I don't think he's... I don't, you know. I don't see that. Like, maybe at the start... But he's not even a dickhead. He's just... You know, he's just... He doesn't believe them. Because it's yeah. bizarre. And it's not, like, it's not like he's creepy on Nancy or anything like that. Yeah, no. He's just, you know... Like, he just seems like they're friends. They don't yeah. even, you don't even seem kiss or anything. So, yeah, like, there's like really friends. much of a relationship there. Like, it's oh. the start of something. But yeah, Kristen's taken in there. She starts freaking out, doesn't she? She starts slashing at him. <laughs> and then <laughs> Nancy makes her appearance and she recognises the song that she's singing. And she's got the uh, white streak, hasn't she? From yeah, which I really one. liked was a callback. Doctor goes outside and her and Nancy talk, don't they? Yeah, he's explaining like what's going on. Mass hysteria or whatever. And she's... Mm. Doesn't she drop a pill bottle as well and he sees yeah, the yeah. hypnosis cell? That's where he gets the first inkling of what's going on with her. Yeah. And he sees the nun. He sees the, with the nun. Gotta mention the nun. Yeah. Important part of the story. Just standing there. We get more characters in shoes, don't we? We got Kincaid, who I think he's my favourite Kincaid, but he makes me laugh. <laughs> he's yeah. so funny. And we got Joey as well, who doesn't speak. Who, you know, eh, whatever. Kristen falls asleep again, doesn't she? She's nearly eaten by the Freddy worm. And somehow she pulls <laughs> Nancy into a dream. Yeah. Nancy stabs the Freddy away, and then Freddy really goes, like, "You, he recognizes Nancy." Because <laughs> that's the thing. Like when she, later on, when she goes, when they do the group thing, how, how like if she's not having nightmares or she's being stopped having dreams, how was she able to even drag Nancy in there? Like, does the Maybe power override power, the drug? Yeah, yeah, I think the power overrides the drug. Then yeah. Freddy should overpower the drug because his like I don't. Maybe he can, but he just didn't realize Nancy was alive because she but she moved away, didn't she? She obviously moved away. Because yeah. they mentioned that she's like a post grad school or she's got a degree or something. It's yeah, not like yeah. she's just been brought in, you know. Yeah. Speaking of the group meeting, they have the group meeting, don't they? Where yeah. they're talking like. They're just more of an introduction of the characters, really, isn't it? Because they have a few group meetings throughout the film. Yeah, you know, they're all talking about like their backstories of what they want to be, what they want to be an actress. She's the only one. We've got the I junkie, remember. the junkie as well, who used yeah. to be, yeah. What's his name? Philip. He makes the dolls, doesn't he, or whatever. Yeah. And then that's Mike it, really. He had the best death as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
which is coming up because that night they take shifts don't they it's uh joey and oh yeah the guy in the wheelchair as well for guy's name yeah them two take shifts don't they to stay awake to watch over each other see he sleepwalks don't they yeah and they know he sleepwalks and he's like oh I'll wake up he's like oh enjoy your walk asshole or whatever yeah but Freddy does is like he has like his um like his muscles or his tendons sort of like acting as strings and it looks yeah like and it's also good because he actually makes those puppet things as well isn't it? yeah so it's, that's a good thing really good yeah, he's just yeah, walking yeah. and then he just goes just through like... a locked door just fucking teleports through the locked door <laughs> yeah this, this film has a weird little thing which it does yeah which none of them mention later on but you know they see they must have gone another way maybe but he ends up on the top floor and at the top floor in yeah. asylum and you know it's a really there. cool shot and i think this was on like most of the dvd covers or something oh freddy in the I sky remember, yeah i remember seeing yeah. that a lot that, that is a really cool kill they're all trying to like get him to wake up aren't they but yeah. they can't really do anything like the wheelchair just... guy like smashes the window is <laughs> yeah screaming. he's screaming the mute guy Got the no. tray on her, he's smashing on all the doors, yeah. waking them all up. All and then he just slashes like, the flesh, I guess, the stringy oh, yeah, flesh, yeah. and he yeah, falls to his I death. <laughs> that was really cool. Like, yeah, that was a really good death. And then after this, they hold the other group meeting, though, at the end, and King Cade makes a laugh here. He's like, the fuck you will? He's like, no, I ain't fucking doing this. <laughs> <laughs> you you want to go to the crowd? I ain't doing nothing, man. I ain't... And then, like we said before, the uh, girl wants to be an actress. She's trying to stay awake, isn't she? She falls asleep watching TV, and it's a talk show, in it? And Freddy ends up taking control of the... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and she goes up to the TV, and all of a sudden the arms come out. The head yeah, this, comes is, out. this is an iconic scene as well. Yeah, so yeah I'm just gonna play, just play the clip. Just play the clip. Uh, he walks in under the worker, and it's like, how yeah. do you explain that? Like, she's literally <laughs> hanging from the TV in the wall. And then from there, Nancy commits him to hold like an unofficial meeting. Yeah. we all go to sleep don't we watching the yeah it's like they're just, just trying to get them into like some sort of sleep state or whatever to make them all fall asleep Kristen's gonna pull them all into one yeah. dream, isn't she? but yeah this bit uh, uh, they fall asleep don't they they all start showing off the powers and it's you know I mean it's a little crazy I am the but... wizard master and I can walk <laughs> And Joey gets lured into the room by that nurse and she's like, oh, yeah. I've always liked her. And then, you know, starts kissing and her fucking tongue comes out and ties him to the bed. There's like four of them, innit? Just yeah. ties his arms and his legs. Yeah. What happens? Did he, did he ch get chased by Freddy or anything? Or did they all just get woken up? They all get woken up because they uh, work. They wanted women walks in, don't you? Yeah. They're, and they're, he just wakes them all up. Whatever, yeah. yeah. But then Joey's in a coma, isn't he, from it? But he's really like... In the dream world, he's tied up on the bed with the flames underneath yeah. him. And I forgot that because later on they go, I'm like, are you still fucking dead? I was like, oh yeah, he's in the coma. Nancy gets fired. Neil as well, yeah. He will get fired. Because he walks out onto with a box of his stuff and conveniently the photo he's got is up with the two people who were dying. <laughs> yeah, but Nancy's in, he's in the room with the mute kid and then she sees like Freddy scratching, you know, come and get him. Oh yeah. Bitch. And then his classic line, bitch. <laughs> he loves bitch, man. That's that's his catchphrase. Oh yeah, and after that, when he's got the photo of the two characters, he sees the nun at the top, and then that's when he runs after her upstairs. Yeah. And then she gives the backstory of Freddy being the bastard son of a thousand maniacs, because years I, ago, a I young woman this, got uh, locked in there. Yeah, and I said this the other night, that, that sounds like the intro to a fucking great wrestler. Yeah, the backstory. And you see Paul Heyman saying, he's a son of a... Thousand bastards! My mum was called Amanda Kruger as well. Her like she said, she gotta get the remains and bury it in hollow ground. Yeah, because it's unholy or whatever. Is this, is Only it... one person knows where that is. And she goes, yeah. This is dad. Played by the same actor, again. Which I only found out last night, him and Robert England both wrote versions of the script, you know, before it was developed. Yeah. He wrote like a prequel and I think, what the fuck did Robert right now? I don't know. I just found it cool that they both like loved it. I think a prequel would have been really cool. True, I think they did that with the Freddy's Night and you're a TV show, I'm sure they did one of it. It was like the court case and all that, and when they're finding him guilty. Yeah. Well, no, that's what I was thinking. Like, that would be a really cool, like. Yeah. He gets the holy water done and he tries stealing the cross from the church and he ends up giving the driver's license. <laughs> driver's license, what? And his remains are in a scrapyard, aren't they? Yeah. I always remember them being buried and they were digging them up. But then I couldn't remember, like, then it doesn't explain, like, the whole skeleton fight. Really. Oh, no, because is it the next one or the one after when the dog pisses on him? And that wakes him up! Yeah, that still brings him back, in it. I, I think it's the next. It must be the next one, yeah, because yeah. bones are still inside the yard, aren't they? They all go into the room, don't they? Yeah, they with her, uh, Kristen, see. and then they get to her, but she ends up snapping back to her house, doesn't she, with her mum? Yeah, we're thinking like, oh, it was all a dream. Yeah, and she's being, oh, her mum's being no more nice, and she puts yeah. her to bed. <laughs> well, she's not. She's not really being nice because you don't. Yeah, but it compared to the where, first version, she's. Don't find out where that bourbon is. Though. Yeah, that's that's. <laughs> Freddy comes always like, where's the fucking bourbon? <laughs> <laughs> but it's weird how you don't see it. But like, you seem like killer. Oh yeah. He's got a head. 
True. He screams, you never are his fucking things that were happening then. <laughs> Why did you name Taron? Taron versus Freddy, aren't we? In the in like the back alleys. Oh yeah, because uh, in her in her her dream, she's beautiful and bad. <laughs> With two switchblades or whatever. And Freddy comes over and he makes his fingers turn into needles. He's like, let's get high, and he just injects them into his fucking veins. And he's all, like he's orgasm and done it like his face is he's pulling when you're doing it. He does look like Sean Spears doing a chair. We would have thought they would have been able to put up more of a fight. Like if they've all got these magical powers in the dream world. Like Well this next guy does, doesn't it? The guy inside the wheelchair. Because now he can stand up like, and he's got that pinch wheel. Yeah. <laughs> he's got a massive wheelchair with the spikes on and he runs into him. <laughs> and what is it? He starts shooting the powers at him, don't he, or whatever. Yeah. And Freddy's playing along with it, and he grabs him and he's like, sorry, get out, I don't believe in fairy tales, and he just stops him. <laughs> We've got the boiler room, aren't we? With Joey yeah. still on the bed with the flames. <laughs> yeah, this is really, this is a really good scene. And then this is where he shows the uh, chest of souls, and he's like, oh, they're all yeah. in power, man. And she's like, oh, he's more powerful than he's ever been, or whatever. But then he, he has to teleport back to Neil and Nancy's dad, don't he, at the grave? Because I was yard. asking this when we were watching, like, is he in control of it simultaneously, or is he switching in between? He switches in between, don't he? Because yeah, he just like teleports, he, and then like, the skeleton comes to life. Yeah, because he, sh he shakes all the cars so that he knocks one on top of theirs, so there's no escape. Yeah. And he sort of creates like a little arena for them. You get the stop motion skeleton, which is... Which you know, I really like. I like it as well. I, I like it, cool. yeah. If, if, if you were to do that now with a stop motion skeleton, you would be able to do better by adding CGI to it to help with the lighting. Because you can still oh, yeah. tell it's not... True. You still yeah. tell it's not there, like it's not real, but it's something physical, so it's more real. I really like that. He ends up impaling Nancy's dad on is it the car or it's, it's something impales him, doesn't it? Yeah. And then he hits Neil with a uh, shovel and starts burying him. And he does a little victory dance. He goes like, hey, and he teleports. <laughs> yeah, he, he has traveled him. He goes, victory, victory. <laughs> like, like, he's just playing pop like, Yeah, like an old game and he just yeah. falls apart. <laughs> <laughs> Joey finally speaks and saves him from like the mirrors, doesn't it? Because Freddy's like multiplying oh, and dragging yeah, them all. Oh, yeah, not enough of me. And then he's just coming through all. And he just streams or whatever and saves them all. Which, I, I'm like, at that moment, you're kind of like, if I was Nancy, I'd be like, Right, okay, that's cool. We, we fuck with him, but he ain't dead yet. <laughs> yeah, he true. Ain't. It's not that ain't gonna be it, is like, it? Just yeah, the one like, stream. But like, okay, all right. So you have stream powers. So why isn't none of the other powers seem to work? Why is he his only weakness? I don't get this. And all of a sudden, Nancy's dad just comes teleporting in. He's like, I'm crossed over, princess. <laughs> I'm going home now. I just want to say goodbye. <laughs> my, my people need me. And he hugs her or whatever, and turns into Freddy and just stabs her. Stabs her. And that's the death of Nancy, yeah. That's the last time, yeah. well, until New Nightmare, but it's not Nancy that's the actual Yeah, but I thought she was in this more. Like, well, she's more. in it enough. She, she's introduced pretty quick, isn't she? It's not well, like she's really only in three movies. Yeah, three, but technically two, because New Nightmare is... I think that's the thing she's mentioned a lot. Yeah, she is mentioned a lot. But yeah, the remains get buried, don't they? Because Neil wakes up and he buries the remains. Yeah, then he like, puts the holy water on. Yeah, and then Freddy starts like just fucking lights coming out of him all over. Oh, you get the cross on his head. i got the figure over there. I forgot yeah. about that. I love that effect. Anyway, well, it's the day later. Well, it's not the day later, but it's, like, it's a while later. It's Nancy's, Nancy's funeral. funeral. No he sees the back. nun again. Yeah, we find like, out the nun was real. Uh, yeah. And she was really Freddy's mum. Yeah, because she mentions that she's Sister Mary something. Like, that's, a, that's a sister name. Amanda Kruger or something. Amanda Kruger, because he finds the tombstone, doesn't he? Yeah. And it ends with him asleep, and he's got the stick, and the lights, the house stick, what? Yeah, yeah Kristen and he's got... Um, oh, the dream thing as well. Yeah, yeah. Which, yeah, was yeah. A, which, which she should have mentioned was a nice callback to a strange Depp's character called Bill. You know, because he was mentioned in, you know... All, oh, yeah, he was. He was yeah. mentioning, like, all those weird dream culture things. True. Which was a little, I think was a little nod to that. Yeah, this one more linked to the first one and the second one, really, isn't it? Yeah. Like, and it ends with the light coming on and then that's how it ends. But originally, Wes Craven wanted this to be the end, but we all know. Horror sequels, if they make money, yep. nah, it's not the end. <laughs> the overall rating, what are you going to give the Dream Warriors? Wow, this, this is like an 8, man. This is... This is top tier. This is this was the first Freddy film I think I ever saw and it terrified me as a child. Yeah, I'm gonna give it an eight as well. I think it's the best of the franchise. Like the other ones have the yeah. moments, but this one's just the most strongest really. This one like, this one this one uses Freddy's ability to play on people's fear a lot more. True. I and mean, it's that line of like he's kinda of scary but he's kinda of funny as well. It's not completely yeah. one sided, which is cool. Make sure you like and subscribe. Next week we'll talk about Nightmare on Home Street 4. Check out Dylan's social links down below. Until next time, peace out in a bit.